Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can fix the problem of the window and door lock not working on a Volkswagen Golf Mark V. A similar procedure will also work on other models as well. So right now we've got the car locked and if you have a look this door is locked but yet this door is still open. As well as that if you look at the windows when I hold down the unlock button you will see that the windows here will come down and also the other windows will come down but yet this window is not working. So on this door here, the speaker works, but the door lock's not working and the windows are not working. Now, a lot of the time people will think it's a problem with the door lock, but it's not. It's an actual module inside that operates the electric windows. As well as that, sometimes it can also be the wiring that goes through here as well. But in this instance, it's not the wiring, it is the module on the inside. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to swap over the module, and then you'll see at the end, it will all work again. So the first thing we need to do is take off the internal door panel. So first of all, we're going to pop out this part here. So we're going to use a screwdriver and prise it out from this corner. And now a bit of force and the rest will come out. So this will expose a screw in here and also just down in here. And we're gonna be using a Torx 30, a T30. And there's another screw just at the bottom here and that's a T20, a Torx 20. That's the three screws undone and now the door panel is all clipped into place. So the clips look like this. We're going to be using the trim removal tool. You can just yank them out. There's a good chance a lot of them are going to break but you can buy replacements. So this is it in the closed position and we're just going to use the tool, put it in there and then pop it and that's it in the open position and see this bit here now will no longer grip into the actual door. So when it's closed, it pushes out, and when it's opened, it goes in a little bit. So now we're gonna use the tool around the door to undo the clips. Now the whole panel is now loose, and it's gonna lift off from the top here, but we need to be careful because there's numerous wires and also this attached to it as well. quite hard to it's quite hard to lift off but there you go now it's popped off from here but we're not going to pull it out because of everything attached to it right so we're just going through the glass at the moment the first thing we need to undo is this black cable that feeds the internal door handle so it's here it's really hard to film but basically you need to unhook it from here like so and then there's a little uh, there's a little clip that goes into the top of the door handle then what we need to do is we need to undo the little cable that feeds the tweeter we need to push in top and bottom and just gently slide it out like so you can see you push it in there also we need to do the window switch as well so with that you just squeeze it and put it down now the internal door panel is free from the car this is for the internal door handle so you can see how that works there you need to unclip this bit and pull it back and then that's the bit that actually clips into the door handle this is the one that goes to the little tweeter so you just need to squeeze in like so and this is the one for the window switch and you just need to squeeze that in there like that to pull it out. Now this is the module here which is faulty so it's not the motor or the gearbox for the window that's faulty it's the actual circuit board in here which is faulty. So we're now going to undo these three screws this one this one and this one and this will now pull out and then we can undo the wiring connector. And for these three screws we're using a T25 a Torx 25. Now we're just going to wiggle it out and you can see that that's the motor that works the windows here. Now we have to undo this wiring connector here by just gently getting a screwdriver and there's a little catch just at the top and also at the bottom as well. So it's useful if you can put a bit of pressure on it while gently lifting it out. Like so. So now you need to get your replacement motor and assembly and on this one here with these little foam washers that come out just pop them back over here so you can reuse them. 
So this is a replacement one here, and this was bought from eBay for only £15. Obviously, it is second hand, but it is working. So now we're just going to put this back in the same as we took off the old one. So with these, don't do them up too tight in case you damage the thread. So now that's been replaced, before we put the panel back on, let's make sure it's actually working. So close the door, I'm just going to lock it. Yeah, you can see now it is locked and let's just check the windows holding down the unlock button. Yeah, you can see that they've gone down now. So now we just need to put the door panel back on. And now make sure that all the holes are free so all the door clips are out. In this one we've just popped one back in on purpose just to show you how to remove it because when you take off your panel there's a good chance you're going to leave one or two behind. So now let's pop this one out. We're, again we're using a tool but you can just force them out with screwdrivers. And yank them out like so. Now you need to take the door clips off the actual door itself. You can see this is one without it in, this is one with it in. So all you have to do is, you see there's a little hole in here, we need to make sure that this is pulled up and then when you pull it up it will allow it to come out because there's a little bit here that digs into that little hole there. So clean up all of them, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one and uh, we're going to put new ones in on this one. So here we have the replacement trim clips. You get them very cheaply on places like eBay and that's just going to slide in just like that into that. So we're going to do the next one and all the others. So these are all on now and obviously they're in the open position. So then when they go onto the car and we push them into place, these will all go down, which will then expand this and lock them into place. So now this is a fiddly bit trying to get the cables back in because there's not a lot of space. So what we're doing is we're moving the door panel this way towards the end of the door so we've got plenty of slack on here. So first of all we're just going to put the hook in this top part. What you have to do is you have to get a little screwdriver just to prise those two end clips over this part here and then that slots into place. So it's gone into the groove and now it's slotted into place over here. So now we have to put the tweeter back on and also the window switch as well. So we're going to do the tweeter next. And just clip that into place. And now we're going to do the window, which is into this grey little module here. So we now need to put it on, so we need to be putting this one on first here. Now this outer part here actually needs to go into this groove here, not in between on the outer groove here, the big groove basically. So we're going to be lifting the door panel up and pushing it against and then hopefully it will seat in place. But we're only doing the top bit to begin with and then we're going to do the uh, trim pins after that. So that's clipped in nicely there now, you can see. And now once the screw holes line up here, we know we're in the correct position. So you can see, well you probably can't see in the camera, but through here and also through here they line up. So now what we need to do is we need to use some force and push the door panel into the door. And you can now see that because of the new clips it's pulled right the way in. So on this one in here you've got a good chance of dropping it right into the door and then you'd have to undo the clips again. So we're just going to start it off with some long nose pliers. And the last screw at the bottom as well. So that's all the door panel back on again and we'll just do one final test. So if we lock the car, it is now locking and also the windows are working as well. So that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.